What I'd like to talk to you today about today are these saws. You should be familiar with them. This type of saw, not a particular one, but this type of saw is a back saw. And what we mean by back saw is it's got a reinforced back to the blade. And what that does is it helps stiffen the saw, which helps you to cut straight. And the back saw is different from the panel saw, which some of you may have used. And there's two types of panel saw. There's a cross cut and a rip panel saw. But for this, the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that the panel saws are used to cut through large battens of material. The problem with them from your point of view is that it's very difficult to cut straight because of this bend in the blade. So chances are, certainly in first and second year, you won't be using the panel saw. Back to the ones we're talking about, these back saws, I've got three different types here. I've got a dovetail saw, which is used for doing small, intricate cutting, such as dovetail joints, as the name implies, or for taking out small pieces of material when cutting joints. The standard tenon saw is for general bench work, general woodwork. This is a bigger version of the tenon saw. This has got a bigger throat on it. This part here is called the throat, and that determines how deeply you can cut into the material. Obviously, you can cut deep, deeper with this one than you can with these two. However, for smaller pupils, and as I said, for intricate work, the dovetail saw is the one that you maybe want to use. All of them have this back to reinforce the blade to keep it stiff so that you can cut straight. The other benefit of this reinforcing is that it adds weight to the saw. You shouldn't be having to force the saw through the, through the material. It should be the weight of the saw that guides it through the material or takes it through the material. And this back makes that process a wee bit easier. Free back saws, dovetail saw, tenon saws.